What's up guys, this is The Missing Link and I'm here with Anxious Panda and today we're going to be reading an article from The Verge. Microsoft adds new Xbox Touch controls to its 10X Cloud games. Microsoft is bringing Xbox Touch to xCloud to its xCloud game streaming service today. xCloud launched last month with just Minecraft Dungeons supporting these new touch controls. But the list, is, the list now includes big names like Streets of Rage 4, Dead Cells, and Killer Instinct. These touch controls will allow players to play games without an Xbox One controller. Touch, touch controls have been one of the top requested features for cloud gaming, explains Catherine Guckstein. Gluckstein, Microsoft's head of Project xCloud. For each title that uses Xbox Touch controls, we've worked, worked to create an experience designed specifically for that game on mobile devices. Microsoft has been working with game designers and players to mimic the controls you normally find on a physical controller. Games can include touch controls without the need for developers to modify them, too. Microsoft's Xbox Touch controls also include customization features to move them around in a phone screen to adjust their size. Microsoft demonstrated its Xbox Touch controls back in August with Gears 5. That particular title isn't on the list just yet, but the company was also testing controls in Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. I hope I said that right. And those are available today. Here's the full list of games now supported. Dead Cells, Guacamelee 2, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Hot Shot Racing, Killer Instinct, Minecraft Dungeons, New Super Lucky's Tale, Slay the Spire, Streets of Rage 4, Tell Me Why, Un and Undermine. So what do you think about that, Panda? Um, you know, actually, quite frankly, you know, this is going to be very unpopular. I, I absolutely hate on-screen controls on touchpads, or I, on like, tablets or phones. Un unfortunately, even though I'm I, the Microsoft I, guy... I have to wholeheartedly agree with you there. <laughs> no, no. So, like, uh, I don't know, man. It's just, like, you're... I got pretty big hands. I got I got fat boy fingers. Um, and I just, like, if I'm playing on, like, a, my phone... I think this article mentions tablets, doesn't it? Or does it just mention phones? Well, yeah, I think it's only phones. Um, so I'm looking at it again. I, I assume... I'm assuming tablets can work. Well, yeah, I, you're gonna. All you need is the Microsoft app. Yeah, so I mean, I, my fingers are so fat, man, and just get in the way of the viewing experience. And then, like, if so, you like you're moving around with your right thumb, and then like some dude pops up out of nowhere on the right side. You can't see him because your fat ass thumb's in the way. And you get a headshotted by a ten year old that's sucking on his mom teeth. That and recently, my. That and recently Microsoft updated its uh, Xbox app, and it used to have a, a remote control function that worked really well for like browsing Netflix and Hulu and whatnot. And that that was all it was really able to do. I mean, it wasn't really good for gaming or anything. But the other the other thing is they recently updated that app, and that remote function now sucks balls. So that that really makes me wonder if their their X Cloud gaming experience is going to be any good at all because it barely registers your finger movements on it now. So I mean, see, I, I I don't think this takes away of the of the main thing with X Cloud though, because um, this is just touch controls. You can still use a Bluetooth uh, uh, controller like Xbox One controller or Xbox Series X controller or whatever the fuck controller you have. Um, so like, it doesn't necessarily take away the experience, but like if you have to use your fingers, I think that's where the problem lies for me personally. But I don't see it being a big deal. Um, it's nice to have the extra layer of uh, um, help me here. Oh, uh, um, you uh, availability. You mean having that as you know something you can use like on the spot if you can't find your controller right away and you just want to jump into the game. I see that that would yeah, be a good idea for that. Yeah. But I also see it being a problem because like if they can't even get their remote control to work right. How are they, how are they going to get the other app to work right? And it's developed by the same no. people. No, I heard uh, for the grapevine that the Xbox services does work. It's playable with the controller just fine. There is um, latency issues. Um, however, so if you move your control, if you move your character to go straight, and he will take like two seconds to go straight. 
That uh, that does There's not compete with me. Right now. I can't I can't um, abide by that. But, but we also have other streaming services like Google Stadia that has been able to mitigate latency. Like Google Stadia is a whole other conversation for a later date. They I mean, that's a, other, that's a whole other. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just kind of want to go over a quick article real quick, give us our thoughts. I think it's nice for a safe accessibility standpoint. I just won't. I, I just won't use it. Yeah. Um, quite frankly, like I said, I got these fat, fat uh, sausage fingers, and this doesn't go well for me. Uh, you got anything else to add there? Well, I was thinking, you know. Even even though I, I'm usually a pro Xbox guy, I, I have been for a long time. You know, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm not because originally they had a lot of good innovations. They had a lot of, of what do they call that? Um, they had a lot of exclusives. I, to start with, they had a lot of exclusives, and then that kind of just died down from there, really. And it it just it got disappointing to be an Xbox player after a while. Okay, but we're talking about xCloud. We're not talking about Well, xCloud, xCloud still has to... It still ties in. It's still Microsoft and Xbox. <laughs> oh, that's a fun. There's also third-party games on there. But I think... Uh, well, that's because it's, nice. it's easier I think for it, them to I do think it'll work out. I think it will work out for especially with someone who can't find their controller. Maybe their controller is dead, but you guys still have to put fucking batteries in an Xbox controller. Um, yeah, but, I, you'd think they would have fixed that too after a while. That's another thing that's annoying. <laughs> that or like even added like a okay, um, rechargeable battery pack included with a controller, or like not even that. Or just like when you or release, buy a console, let it be included with the box. Or let, or or at least they um, could release an Xbox brand controller battery. Like, you know, don't they do that already? No, it's Nyko. It's all through Nyko usually. Oh. Uh, or Mad Cats. That's kind of gross. Yeah. The Mad Cats. Remember, do you remember the Mad Cats controller for the PS2? Yes, I do, buddy. That um, was a legend. <laughs> <laughs> with the, the turbo function that thing used to those things used to break all the time I don't know I had one and I let my, mine worked really well until it broke <laughs> well that's typically how it goes doesn't it? I used to love the turbo function because on certain games it would literally like it would make them go really really fast for no fucking reason at all <laughs> That's all we got to say about this one. Uh, this is a small article, so there's not much to really talk about. Yeah. Um, we're going we're going to do more articles like this, so just be sure to tie into everything else that we do on this channel, like gameplay. Um, we have uh, long discussions. Uh, we do new little articles. We're doing the card unboxing. We're doing a whole bunch of different shit. We're just trying um, to put our put our so, fingers into everything. Uh, not everything. That's how you get AIDS. <laughs> um, anywho. I'm an alien, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Space AIDS is so much worse. They, they call it alien AIDS. No, 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 no. It's just Space AIDS. <laughs> it, it's AIDS, but dire. Yes. AIDS All right, well, space. boys and girls. Y'all... All right, boys and girls. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> don't forget to and like, share, and subscribe. subscribe to the channel. And take care.